Hello everybody and welcome to City Skylines. I actually said I was going to do this, so let's get down to it. We're going to start off with a nice new world. Nothing built, absolutely nothing. We're even going to go straight in and pick a new game. First of all, pick out our area. Uh, so let's have a look here. Golden Plains, Blackwoods. Um, I want something that's going to be a little bit of a challenge and not horrendous though. Um, I'm going to go with Island, and I think because it would be quite cool to separate different things out. Well, custom map theme, we don't have any installed, and we're going to click left-hand traffic, just because being a Brit, it's often quite useful and fun to, uh, well, not fun, but not useful, it's just, it's, it's, yeah, it's just what I'm used to. I'm a normal person. City name, okay, let's have a look here, what should we call it, what should we call it? Looking around my room for inspiration, inspiration, um, uh, uh, um, I have no fucking idea what I'm going to call my city. Um, 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 hmm. Uh, Pushville. There we are. Completely stupid name, I know. Now, I've, I've had a little thought on how I'm going to plan my city and what I'm going to do with it, and I've decided that I am going to make my city as uh, renewable and as clean as possible. So, although there's a good... Um, a good way of making a load of money is just getting all of the really, really um, economically damaging, um, not economically, environmentally damaging aspects like the, the, the coal mines and the uh, the power stuff that generates a shit ton of power, and you get those things. It, it doesn't make the cities that good for the people living there. And if I can cut down and use things like wind turbines and water and uh, farmland, it will then kind of intertwine and let me oh fuck off let me do more okay let's have a look i can't even remember the controls middle mouse button here we are okay let's do the usual let's bring this road out can i can i go into the middle there i can't really can i because it fucking snaps what's this toggle snapping there we are let's I mean, it looks good enough. It looks good enough. Okay, so what they're going to do is they're going to come in, go around there, um, go around there, and this part here is going to kind of let them bridge out between. See, here, realistically, we only need uh, a one way street. It's going to cause a lot of traffic problems if we don't. So let's make it out like that. And coming into the city, we're going to have one road going out here. It's going to be a, another another big road. Actually, let's just make it like that. Let's try not to make it look too much like a penis. Okay, so we've now got that. We're going to have to have a look at some districts for people to live in. Uh, so we don't need to go too extreme on this. We can just do a nice, normal one. Um, I'm a big advocate for one-way street. Don't know why. It's probably a fucking stupid idea. Um... What should we do? I think we should add a roundabout in somewhere. Um, here. Problem is, it completely demolishes the idea of the roads. So let's completely bollocks up the traffic and do that. Make it into a two-laned one and going out into a two-laned one. But these side ones are just going to be single-lane ones. We've got the trees out there, which will be good for like the woodland. Um, building let's have a quick look at our land usage so wind got a hell of a lot of hell of a lot of wind over there which is gonna be quite good the water's over there as well on this little island how big is this island it's actually quite big we're gonna want them to maybe come out a little bit further than that and let's make it a relatively big big district because i found the problem before is that whenever i mark out a district area becomes the problem of I never ha I never have enough room after I always plan it a bit too uh, early in advance so we can go ahead and do these one-way streets 
a large amount of houses that will be built here. Oh well. I dump a load of houses down there. Let's have a look at the power and drop in and one of these old things. Like I say here, we could put the coal plant down, but there's I don't see a reason. It creates heavy pollution and that's not something we want to do. Loads of eights around here, loads of eights around there. Let's just stick them on the um, on the uh, around the coast nicely out of the way. Hopefully that's going to fill them all. Yeah. Awesome. A water-wise uh, water pumping station. So we're going to pump it out of all the way up here. going to pump the sewage back out all the way down. Uh, all the way down here. Do it right at the very end. Even though probably going to eventually have to change that. Okay, let's connect these up here, and then uh, we'll do a nice wide sweeping pipeline like that. And then what we can do is do a little little looping network like that. Kind of lets us have a little bit, or have it all ready up, uh, ready and waiting for us. Let's drop in a pylon. Une pylon. Uh, into there, into there. That should pass itself out nicely. So we're currently consuming consuming two megawatts. We're producing six, um, which is already awesome. And we've got plenty of, plenty of space. I think we're going to have a road coming out here. And what we'll do is eventually, because this is our route out of the town, we'll have a road going here, which is only for the exporting trucks. Um, that should help us nicely. So... Let's put a nice road going out there. Um, let's just do that and then let's automatically... Um, whoa. That looks kind of cool if we can get it to the right angle. There we are. That looks awesome. If we can get that in nicely there. Okay, we're going to have to take into account though, because if we do a lot of forestry, um, which we will be able to heap the benefits of, we are going to have to do a lot of, um, have a lot of fire protection in the area, because the fire chance is going to grow. It's wood for fuck's sake. And let's have a look here uh, what we're going to do. We'll try and keep this area here open, this little um, uh, arch part uh, for, for future like research area. Um, but the tree wise, we'll do. look they're already getting workers already got the employers they need that one hasn't just yet maybe they've just set up eight out of nine nine out of nine eight out of twelve four out of four and seven out of twelve these are some massive factories out here three out of sixteen will be the same and zero out of twelve okay they've got a little bit more of a demand now for residential but that's why they're popping up okay an increasing demand here for commercial and uh, maybe we can drop some down here uh, not too close to the roundabout though, so I'm gonna grab out the box tool. Chuck it in there. Such a demand, they're already increasing up now nicely. Okay.
Achievements. Nice. Little Hamlet. Chief of population of 400. Awesome. Taxes, loans, garbage, healthcare, education. Nice again. Okay, how's the city going? What's our healthcare like? Health capacity is uh, at 100. Six citizens is one. Average health is 70%. It's already on the rise. And our health, our healthcare in overall is pretty high. Efficiency is good as well uh, towards the greens. Um, buildings active and inactive. We've only got one and it's active. Let's have a look at the garbage collection. Uh, landfill usage 1%. Incineration status is obviously minimal. We're not doing it at all. Water wise, uh, water, we're getting it loads in. We're pumping in 120,000. I mean, we could have just used a water tower, but I believe they're the same price. No, they're, they're more expensive and they do less. No, I never see the point of them. In regards to power, we are getting close. Worthy, worthy village, nice. Two by two, uh, two by two expansion. We can now do our districts policies. Second loan, district specialization, service policies. We can now get our fire department, police department, unique buildings. We can obviously specialize here in the forestry and agriculture specializations. Power usage, water usage, smoke detector distribution, and police station and firehouse. Awesome. What's gone wrong here? What's gonna okay, what's over here? Should we give them a little their own little dedicated power source? Just like just in case of problems. Because there's gonna be a large demand for power out here. So that should kind of ensure that there's a bit more of a direct power source. And okay, let's uh, grab the little zone at all. Shrink that down, the zones aren't that big. Um, and we shall up, uh, draw out the zone here, and give it a little name. Uh, what should we call it? Old Crappington. Policies. Um, policies. We don't really have any of these policies. It's it's a it's a it's a zone. In regards to here. Uh, no, where's the zone thing? Oh, here it is. We can set out. Generic industry. Um, let's have a look at our actual zone areas, and let's. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna zone Old Crappington into uh, into lumber. Hopefully, all these dirty motherfuckers will shut down. The demand should drop a little bit for everything, and hopefully, this area should be nice and safe for people. Why are you cutting down all the trees? I hope our city will not burn into a barren wasteland. Well, my friend, it won't. Because we are we are building ourselves a nice fire station. Now, where's a good place to put it? Is that a good place? It's not really, is it? That actually looks like a perfect spot. There. I'm gonna have to kick a few people out, but... Fuck them. We need the land, we need the space. And a high school is more important than three houses. It's a bit of crime there. Let's drop the old place constab constabular down. Shit, I've just placed a fire department down. There we are. That's what I meant to place. You can see there, this police car's already... Nope, he's completely ignored the fact that there's robbery in place. Nope, they've gone. Have they got him? Ho oh, oh. The long arm of the law reaches the city. I feel safer already. Awesome. Okay. What's it like over here? Money-wise, um, we're not doing too bad. Let's have a look at what we can do for the housing. Now, I don't want to put too much stress on this road here, um, being that it is the only road going into the city. Because I'm pretty sure if I try and upgrade this road now... Space already occupied. Space already occupied. Space already occupied. It's going to make me completely... Um, completely moving if I wanted to do that. In fact, let's do that very quickly. Uh, police station and that. They're both not the best, but they're not bad either. 
I wonder whether... Right, can we zone this road? Maybe I think we have to put it into a zone. Uh, let's try that now. Drop a zone for this road only. Let's call it something like... Um, Escaper's Way. Escaper's Way. Specializations. No specializations and no specializations policy-wise. Uh, we don't have access to the city scan um, planning yet. As well, though, if I say scan this sit this district here, we drop this one in uh, a district. Whoa! I kind of, kind of hate the whole district drawing. It, it's nice, but it's fucking difficult to use. Holly Hills, Holly Hills, Brr, what do we call it? Poy Town. Poy Town is the main area in Bushville. And we're going to give out a smoke distribution. Upkeep is five cents per building. We don't have that many buildings. It's not going to be that expensive. Can we afford it though? Apparently not. Because we have a, another demand for workers. Okay, let's have a look at... And uh, dropping in a new road. Timber industry, green at tomorrow. That's my boy. What we got here? Tiny town. Uh, we can do landscaping, event policies, uh, parks and places or plazas, the level two unique buildings, football, noise, pet bands, smoking bands, parks and recreation, uh, schools out, subsidized youth, uh, come on, uh, come on, come all, uh, match security, gravel path, pavement path, bicycle path canals and a lot of playgrounds so what we're going to be doing next episode and as, as that is i'm going to leave it here for now um we're going to have a look at doing a bit of styling to our city having a look and making it look nice um adding in a few extra bits you know bicycle paths pavements things like that to allow people to walk between things a little bit safer this whole area here i mean what can we do with it we can make that into a nice little park where we're going to put the football football ground who knows? Here we are. Can't afford it yet, but should be something that we might be able to, uh, you know, gather up. Work out exactly what we're going to do. Guys, I've been Pete Bush. Hope you've enjoyed the new series. If you did, hit the like button down below. If you watched all the way down to here, put boobies in the comment section. And apart from that, I will see you soon. Peace, guys. Shola. Sure